that is n into gamma x. Therefore, second property is gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n. And if n is positive integer, if n is positive integer, gamma n plus 1 is equal to n factorial of gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. Remember this to reverse. If n is positive integer, that is gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial or apply second result gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. Next property is gamma 1 by 2 is root 5 gamma 0 infinity. For example, to solve gamma of 4, okay. here 4 is a positive integer. Using this result, any one result, gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial or gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial to solve gamma 4. Okay. Gamma, use the result, gamma n is equal to n minus 1 factorial. That is gamma 4. Here n is 4. 4 minus 1 factorial means 3 factorial and 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6. Therefore the value of gamma 4 is 6. Similarly to find gamma 5 is first write this. This is n. Gamma n is equal to n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 4 factorial. 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 24. Similarly to find gamma of 3 by 2. Here, 3 by 2 is positive but a fraction form. First write this 3 by 2 in gamma of n plus 1 form. Okay. That is gamma of n plus 1 means 1 by 2 plus 1. And we know that the result, reduction result for gamma function, gamma of n plus 1 is n gamma n. Here the value of n is 1 by 2. n gamma n. n is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 into gamma 1 by 2. But gamma 1 by 2 is root 5. Root 5 form. Next property is transformation of gamma. Transformation of gamma is 0 to infinity e raised to minus k y into y raised to n minus 1 d y is equal to gamma n upon k raised to n. Here, the coefficient of y is greater than 1. Greater than 1 means 2, 3, 4, 5. Then apply this property. 0 to infinity e raised to minus k y into y raised to n minus 1 d y is equal to gamma n upon k raised to n. Using this property and definition to solve examples, we will see first 